Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Rei Boot. With one click, Rei Boot can help you enter or exit recovery mode absolutely free. You can also repair over 150 iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS system problems like stuck on an Apple logo, a constant boot loop, recovery mode, and so much more. It works on the latest versions of iOS, including iOS 14 and iOS 15 betas. So if you're encountering any issues with any of your Apple devices, I would highly appreciate it if you check out Rei Boot. Links, of course, will be in the description down below. Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 15 is currently sitting in beta 1, which means there's still a possibility for Apple to add additional new features and changes. So in this video, I've been working with Angelo Libero on some great concept. He's a great concept artist. So everything you see in this video today is courtesy of him. So you can check him out. Links will be in the description over on Twitter. Great design and concept artist for iOS. I've worked with him before. And today we put together a handful of features that I think Apple should definitely uh, add to iOS 15 before the official launch and maybe even later down the road maybe iOS 15.5 who knows when the next major update becomes available for iOS 15 so again links will be in the description these are going to be a few ideas of features that hopefully Apple will add to the iPhone I think these are going to be very practical for a lot of users starting with widgets on the home screen so we know that we have our current uh, widgets right here for the home screen but we don't have toggles for the widgets on the home screen which i think would be very very useful you can see here from this concept here that we put together we have the airplane mode wi-fi bluetooth and the cell connection toggle directly on the home screen of the iPhone. I think that would be a really great idea if Apple would implement this and maybe even the music control platter that Control Center offers directly as a widget option for the home screen of iPhone. I would like to hear from you. What do you think about an idea of something like this? Apple did add a handful of widgets uh, to iOS 15. We have a new Find uh, widget or Find My widget. We have a Sleep one. We have App Store, a different clock one, a Game Center, and so forth. So there's about five or six new ones, but Apple has yet to deliver actual toggles and control center toggles for widgets on the home screen. I think it's a great idea. Now, another thing that I've noticed after using iPadOS, Apple has added a great implementation of the app library feature within the dock of the iPad. And I like the animation here. You have quick access to all of your apps right there in the app drawer. And I think it would be great if Apple would bring this to the iPhone instead of having to swipe all the way to the end where I barely ever use it right here on the end of the iPhone's home screen. It would be nice to see that implemented within the dock or maybe just make it an option to have it at the end of the OS or maybe on the dock. And as you can see that image right here, this concept also reflects that idea and hopefully Apple will bring this to iOS 15 as I mentioned before the official final release or maybe in future software updates. Now there's also a feature that a lot of users have been wanting for the messages application and a lot of other messaging services do offer this option. So if you long and press is now the option to reply to a particular message thread. Well, it would be nice that you can also press and hold and have an option here for unsending a message. Sometimes you send something by accident. You may want to delete that. WhatsApp offers this feature. I believe Facebook messaging uh, also offers this feature. So it would be nice to unsend a message if you accidentally send something. I think a lot of users have also wanted that for quite some time and the messages application is a bit underwhelming in iOS 15 in my opinion. I thought Apple would do a lot more. Uh, the great thing is that iOS 15 is still sitting in beta 1 as of the filming of this video so there's a lot of time for Apple to make improvements here as well. Now last but not least of course you guys already know how I feel about the lock screen of the iPhone. It's just very plain nothing happening nothing much happening on the lock screen. You can't really customize it but I would really like to see at least the ability to place the weather widget on the lock screen of the iPhone. This is something that I've been wanting for quite some time. I don't know why Apple just really doesn't allow users to do this. It is a great idea. A lot of users may even want their calendar on the lock screen. And once again, this image shows the concept of what that may look like if Apple was to implement that into iOS 15. So there you guys have it. Uh, let me know if you like these ideas. If you have any ideas of yourself or your own that you would like to leave in the comments down below, what would you like Apple to add or change to iOS 15 if you've been using the software so far? And what are you looking forward to before the official final rollout? Again, guys, all concept images by the artist. Links will be down below. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.